let this be a normal field trip? With a friend? No way! Oh. Cruising on down Main Street, you're relaxed and feeling good. Yeah. Next thing that you know, you're seeing. <laughs> Octopus in the neighborhood. Surfing on a sound wave. Swinging through the stars. Yeah. Take a left at your intestine. Take your second right past Mars on the magic school bus. Navigate a nostril. <laughs> Climb on the magic school bus. Make a plane to Take that. On our magic school bus. Rock the river of lava. A magic school bus. Such a fine thing to do. Whoa. So strap your bones right to the seat. Come on in and don't be shy. Come on. Just to make your day complete. You might get baked into a pie on a magic school bus. Step inside, it's a wild ride. Come on, right on the magic school bus. I told them I'd have an idea for broadcast day. <coughs> So I'll have an idea for broadcast day. <coughs> mm, why don't I have an idea for broadcast day? Ralphie! Get up, Ralphie! You're going to be late for school. Oh, no! <coughs> Ralphie, what are you doing? Our class is broadcasting two hours of live television today, and I said I'd have a show for them to do. And I don't, yet. <coughs> But I will! <coughs> no, you won't. What? It's my opinion, as your mother, and as a doctor, that you have a fever, which means you are sick, which means you are going back to bed. But, but, Mom! No buts about it, Ralphie. I'm sure your class can do broadcast day without you. We can't do it without him! And we go on in an hour! Where, Where is he? I'll get it. I was wondering where you got to. Hello? <gasps> yes, Dr. Tonelli. Dr. Tonelli, that's Ralphie's mom. Uh-huh, yes, I see, uh-huh, uh-huh. Yes, he's sick. Oh, poor Ralphie. Why aren't I surprised? Of course, he must stay in bed. What? In bed? What about broadcast day? Yes, Dr. Tonelli, thank you for calling. Bye-bye. Is Ralphie staying home from school today, Miss Frizzle? Yes, I'm afraid so, Arnold. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? Why, we're taking school to him, of course. To the bus! Are we doing broadcast day from Ralphie's room, Miss Frizzle? What better place to take chances, make mistakes? And it sure is messy. Miss Frizzle, are you sure this visit isn't a field trip? <laughs> what do you think, Arnold? I think Ralphie shouldn't have stayed home today. How can anything that smells like grape shoe polish help my body get well? Ugh. It will if you take one teaspoon three times a day. And don't forget to shake well before using. Like this? <laughs> Even your jokes are sick. Open. No! Oh boy, I feel great! Mom, you are a miracle doctor. Can I go to school now? Forget it, Ralphie. I've got to go see another patient. But Grandpa's downstairs if you need anything. I'll check in later. If I get an idea, I'll still have time to phone it in. That's it! A phone-in! Huh? <laughs> Hi, we're here! Hello! Ralphie, we're here! I must be hallucinating. Maybe I'm sicker than I thought. Hi, Ralphie. How you doing? Uh-oh. Gee, you look terrible. Don't worry, I'll have you camera ready in no time. <coughs> Is it just me? 
Or is my entire class standing in my room? Aren't you glad to see us? <laughs> we came to do broadcast day. Really? What a great idea. <gasps> now and then I do have them, Ralphie. Speaking of great ideas, what's yours, Ralphie? Mine? Oh, you mean for broadcast day? <coughs> Oh, you'd better take it easy, Ralphie. Your body is telling you to slow down. But, Miss Frizzle, I can't. We have a show to do. What does my body know anyway? Oh, it knows a lot about the detection and rejection of infection, Ralphie. Whoa! Inside you, at this moment, there is action, excitement, adventure. Exactly what we need for our show. So, what's your idea, Ralphie? Oh, uh, well, um, uh, <coughs> oh, what's going on with my body anyway? Oh, that's an excellent question, Ralphie. Class, everyone back to the bus. Huh? But, Miss Frizzle, we just got here. Mm-hmm. Single file, please. Wait! Where are you going? You can't go on a field trip now. And I can't do broadcast day all by myself. <coughs> I'm sick. Huh? Wait a minute. W what's going on? Oh, it was your idea, Ralphie. We're here to get the inside story. Inside story? Inside what? What about broadcast day? Think, Ralphie. Where is all the action right now? The action? Liz, what are you doing? Hang on a second. The action is all inside me. What a great idea. Broadcast day could be about what's going on inside me. Excellent, Ralphie. Roll tape. This is FNN. I'm Ralphie, and this is the Frizzle News Network. Welcome to our live, on-the-scene coverage of a natural disaster of major proportions. My poor sick body. Over to you, Keisha. Thanks, Ralphie. One disturbing question remains unanswered at this hour. What's making Ralphie sick? The FNN News Team hopes to find out. And to do that, they will go straight to the troubled zone. My sore throat. Seatbelts, everyone. Ralphie, say ah. Uh... Ah! <laughs> cool. I've never seen that from the outside before. The FNN news team is nearing the disaster area. In a moment, we will have live footage. See anything yet? Whoa! Oh, get a shot of those vocal cords, class. Look how red and swollen his throat is. No wonder it hurts. The question is, why is it red and swollen? And why does it... <coughs> yeah! <coughs> <laughs> I couldn't help it. At this rate, we'll never get the inside story of what's making Ralphie sick. We've got to find another way in. Mm-hmm. It's not as easy for us or germs to get inside the body as you might think. Yeah, skin pretty much covers it. How are you going to get the inside story if you can't get inside? Wait a second. I've got it! Look at this! Is it just me, or does this say, this way in? It's a shortcut. Get it? Shortcut? Carlos, Carlos. yuck! Excellent observation, Carlos. Seatbelts, everyone! <laughs> wow! You saw it first on FNN News. Hey, you guys! The whole world wants to know. Now that you've found a way in, 
how are you going to get to my throat? Ralphie's right. We're all the way down at the knee. Hmm, let's see if I can put you in the picture. As I always say, for every trip, there's a road map. That's Ralphie's bloodstream. Could we travel through his bloodstream to get to his throat? Absolutely, Dorothy Ann. We'll take the Trans-Ralphie Highway system. And here we go! Wahoo! This is Ralphie for FNN News. My entire class has just dived deep into my cut, and it doesn't even hurt! What are those? Those are tiny, tiny blood vessels. They're all part of the bloodstream. Eeny, meeny, miny, moo! Head north, Miss Frizzle! Yeehaw! Whoa! Is that my blood? But I thought blood was red. That stuff is clear. That's right, Ralphie. The liquid part of the blood is clear. So what are those red things? Are they what make blood look red? Scintillating surmise, Ralphie. According to my research, they're called red blood cells. And the white ones are white blood cells. But what are those jaggedy things? Those are platelets. They help the body heal scrapes and cuts. But we still don't know what's making me feel sick. And boy, do I feel sick. Ralphie, I'm home. <gasps> there. <laughs> oh. Quick, hide, Liz. Hello, sweetheart. Feeling any better? Yeah, fine, great. It, um, looks as if you've been busy. Just, uh, er, the game I was playing. So, Mom, I think I'll get some sleep now. Hey, what's that you're watching? What, this? It's, um, <laughs> nothing. Just some movie. You wouldn't like it. Oh, I don't know about that. It's remarkably realistic. Look, red blood cells. And those look exactly like white blood cells. Nah, are you kidding? Those are just cheap special effects. Look, you can even see the wires. We're here. We are? We're in Ralphie's throat. There are a lot more white blood cells here. Where are they going? Looks like they're after something. Follow the white blood cells. Sorry, Ralphie, what did you say? Me? Did I say something? Look, that truck thing is following the white blood cells through the blood vessel wall to the place where the infection is. Yes! They're getting the inside story! <laughs> Whoop. Ah, now that we're inside Ralphie's throat tissue, time for some on-the-spot reporting. Up close and personal. Keisha Carlos, camera one. The trick here is not to make eye contact. Phoebe and, uh, Arnold, you take camera two. I'm the one who should have stayed home today. Way to go, guys. Take chances. Get messy. Get out there. Get the story. Just don't mention my name, okay? Ralphie, are you talking to yourself? M not exactly, Mom. And now, over to Keisha and Carlos, live from Ralphie, that little girl looks just like your friend Wanda. Who, her? No, no, no. Wanda's much, uh, shorter. Carlos here. We're out here in the throat tissues trying to find out what's going on and... Hey! What's that? Look at that, folks! Whoa! Have we got us some action here? Those yellow-green balls are destroying that wall. What are those green things? Those are bacterial cells. They're actually not unlike the bacteria that are making you sick. That's bacteria and it's making me sick? This just in, folks. That's bacteria and it's making Ralphie sick. And according to my research, bacteria are germs. 
Once inside our bodies, they can make us sick. Ralphie has a bacterial infection. This is it. <coughs> the inside story. Bacteria invade throat. Is it just me, or did they say Ralphie? No, no. It says here the show's about a guy named Alfie. Ixnay on my aim -nay. The bacteria from Ralphie's throat infection are everywhere, and they're destroying his throat cells. Look, look, here come some white blood cells. Whoa, wow. It's throwing stuff at the bacteria. That, that was incredible. That white blood cell just ate those bacteria. That huge battle is going on inside me? <coughs> I mean inside a a Alfie. <coughs> this battle is raging! Who's going to win? No wonder I'm sick. Arnold here, on location with the infection. I'm going to try to get an exclusive interview with these two bacteria. I mean, four bacteria. I mean, eight bacteria? Hey, guys! Bacteria from the infection are multiplying faster than the white blood cells can gobble them up. We're losing. Let's get out of here. How could my body lose? Ralphie, are you all right? I don't think you should be watching this. No. I mean, <laughs> please don't turn it off, Mom. I want to see how it ends. I'll tape it for us downstairs. But you don't understand. What I understand is that your body needs to save its strength so it can use its energy to battle those bacteria. You have to rest, sweetheart. It's not just me, Ralphie. Any good doctor knows the best cure is complete rest. Over to me, Dorothy Ann. Right now, the white blood cells are losing. Certainly looks that way, Dorothy Ann. They need help. They need Backup support? Where do I get that? Not to worry, Ralphie. It's already on its way. Cue the medicine! Is that the medicine Mom gave me earlier? It sure is, Ralphie. Look what it's doing! It's destroying more bacteria. The medicine is giving the white blood cells another chance. And they're throwing out even more of those stick things. Oh, those stick things are antibodies. The white blood cells use them to mark the bacteria. Dum -de -dum -dum. I hope this doesn't mean what I think it means. Oh, no. Ralphie's antibodies have marked the bus's bacteria. But we're not bacteria. We're Ralphie's friends. But his white blood cells are doing such a good job. They now recognize us as enemies, too. Enemies? But we know what white blood cells do to enemies. That's right, Arnold. They'll try to destroy us. Destroy us? Ah, oh, the wonder of the human body. Ralphie! Do something! Ralphie! You've got to help us! Don't worry, class. In order to destroy us, Ralphie's white blood cells will have to catch us first. But we've got to get out of Ralphie's throat! Good thinking, Keisha. When the spot is tight, hang a right! Broad 
podcast day. The story. Where is everybody? Ms. Frizzle here with an update on the Ralphie story. To escape the white blood cells, we left Ralphie's throat and are now heading up his nasopharyngeal passages. The what? According to my research, that means his nose? We're up Ralphie's nose? <laughs> That's the inside of my nose? Weird. Bless you. Of course, there's no telling how long we'll have to stay here, or how long we can stay here. Liz, I'm trying to think here. I get it. I've got to sneeze them out, but I don't feel like sneezing. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha! Wee! <laughs> Second floor, boy socks. Woof. Going up. All right. Way to go, Ralphie. Yeah. This is Keisha, still reporting to you live for FNN. We are now back in Ralphie's room. So, Ralphie. What do you have to say about today's amazing adventure? Well, I'm sorry that my body made such a mess of it. Wait a minute. Do you really think your body's been working against you? Sure, and against you too. You almost didn't get in, remember? Only because your body's built to keep out things like a bunch of germs or a bus full of kids. And my throat is so sore I can barely talk. Only because your body is sending extra blood there to help fight the infection. Okay, but what about when you almost got gobbled up by my white blood cells? Only because your body thought we were bacteria. Your body was only trying to protect you. I guess you're right. My body was just trying to get rid of germs. Like you. <laughs> <laughs> Come along, class. Good old body. So that's the inside story, isn't it, Miss Frizzle? That's the inside story, Ralphie. Pretty amazing, don't you think? Well, we may have won the battle class, but he's still fighting the war. Hey, guys, how's this for a concept? Inside Ralphie, the series. Week one, he gets a Charlie horse. Week two, tennis elbow. Week three, the final episode, athlete's foot. <laughs> Is this the magic school bus? Is this the magic school bus? 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 I want the magic school bus! I want the magic school bus! Sorry, Liz, but I can't hear a thing. <gasps> Liz, your heart sounds like a telephone. <laughs> Hello? Hello, is this the Magic School Bus? Yes, and you're talking to the producer. Can I help you? Yeah, what were those kids doing visiting Ralphie when he was so sick and tired? Oh, well, don't worry. He wasn't infectious. Uh, thanks for calling. Bye. Hello, Magic School Bus. You know, Ralphie shouldn't go around picking scabs. If the Magic School Bus got in, so could germs. A good point. Bandages, like skin, are there to keep germs out of your body. And bacteria aren't the only things that can make you sick. There are viruses, parasites, fungi, and... Right, and some sickness isn't caused by infection, but by the body's own systems not working right. Thanks for calling. Bye. Whew. Hello, Magic School Bus. Well, I think that somebody should say that medicine can be dangerous, and kids should never take medicines without an adult in charge. You just did, thank you. Um, did Ralphie ever get better? He sure did. His body did a great job of getting rid of all those germs, and he got just as healthy as he was before. And they should also say that your body's always trying to be healthy. You're absolutely right, and there's a lot you can do to help it out. I know. Like eating properly, getting enough sleep, and exercising. Getting all your shots is another way to keep healthy. Shots help your body be prepared for some of the really tough germs. I don't like getting shots. They sometimes hurt. Me neither. 
but I also don't like getting sick, and I'd rather get a shot now than get sick later. Me too, I guess. Hey, does Miss Frizzle ever get sick? No way! She takes good care of herself, gets all of her shots, and she's magic. Surfing on a sine wave, swinging through the stars. Yeah. Take a left at your intestine, take your second right past Mars. On the magic school bus. Navigator Nostril. Climb on the magic school bus. Make a plane turn to. Take that. On our magic school bus. Drop the river of lava. <laughs> on the magic school bus. Such a fine thing to do. Whoa. So strap your bones right to the sea. Come on in and don't be shy. Come on. Just to make your day complete, you might get baked into a pie on the magic school bus. Step inside, it's a wilder ride. Come on, ride on the magic school bus. <laughs>